Now we are going to discuss about how to put default values in a per particular transaction code like uh, like purchase order creation. So I go to ME twenty one n. Okay, now I'll show what I'm talking about. So suppose I want to create a PU, create a purchase order. So what happens most of the time a buyer is responsible for for a particular plant or something that you can probably default so here suppose what you can do is here you can put default well so you have a purchase order header and a purchase order line item so suppose every time the buyer creates a purchase order it needs to be of this purchase organization so okay so even you might say at what point you want to do it. So if it's more than 50%, it makes sense that you have the same purchase organization. So the chances of changing the purchase organization is, is less than 50%. So that's a win-win for you. Now the purchasing group is supposed particular thing. So you can set it up and the company code is also supposed something. So you can set it up. Now, if I go to the purchase, so you have more fields here. It's up to you whether you want to use or not. So what you can do is suppose payment terms, we always put the, the buyer always put a certain value. So here you can see all these hidden fields that you can open up. Now, if you click on these payment terms, you click on this and we'll show you the difference. So suppose you put, uh, this one, uh, suppose one. This is a payment term he chose. Now, in the purchase order item, purchase order item is very important. So, generally, you might say, okay, I'll put the plant. Suppose uh, we just do a search for plant we want. Okay, and we can say always propose. Okay, and here material group, we can search one. And suppose I put this chill group the this one we can see a b c d e r now no or suppose i put my suppose the user id is us one two three four so generally you might say what is the use of this requisition id it can be used by for in especially in the invoice management process by to be to be having this value populated with a user id um who will be authorizing the work or the goods receipt or something or approving the service entry sheet something requirement tracking numbers you can put suppose one two three four and here you can put all this always propose okay and we'll see the difference so if you want more fields you can have other fields but we are fine with this type now currently and we'll just click on save and now if you notice you have you you can see if i go to the orb data you will see a bunch of fields already populated and you see the material group is populated if i go to the scroll to the right the requirement number the requisitioner id all these are getting populated so it's less one so many things will be the same so it makes sense you so if you default these the chances of making mistakes are less provided you you change it when it's required okay but most of the time this is an easy way i i think you don't get any value addition by typing stuff you did you get value addition by negotiating the contract with the vendor not creating a purchase means purchase order creation in the sap is important but it should not be your main goal your main goal is to negotiate the contract okay so these things will help you in saving time saving in in making less mistakes and all those things so it's very easy so so you just need to go into personal settings and you need to define the default values and all those things so this is very helpful and you should be using so whenever you have 
uh, field like this, you could probably will have it in work order, purchase inquisition and other stuff. Even in invoice you might be having, which you can use it for your MDT use. 